Yo, what is up guys? Primal here with Mask and the Warrior Tribe where we get you further, faster in your life and help you go from average to savage in your preparedness without you having to navigate a river of bullshit to get there and we can get you paid in the process. So hey, if getting paid to get prepared sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to click the links down in the description below this video. Get inside the tribe so we can help you do exactly that. So in this video today, we're going over the Core Essentials Minimalist, the Ridge Wallet, and the Trayvax Armored Summit. We're gonna do a quick overview of all three of these wallets to help you understand and determine which one's the right one for you. Welcome back, guys. So before we dive into this video, what do you guys think about this backdrop, huh? What do you guys think about this? I've been working really hard on it here lately. I've got the mod wall set up. We've got lights back here highlighting some of the gear. We've got lights up front. We've really been working on this set here to kind of make it a staple set going forward, at least for the foreseeable future for some of our tabletop style videos like this. So let me know what you guys think. If you got any questions about any of the gear that I got back here or anything like that, be happy to answer them. Drop them down in the comments. Let us know what you think about this new set. So let's dive in to these three wallets. So the first one we're going to take a look at here is arguably my favorite of the three that we're going to look at today. That is the Core Essentials Slim Wallet. Now guys, I have personally utilized this wallet for over two years and I've already done a full in-depth review of this particular wallet before in the past. I'll drop the link for that down in the description below. Packaging on this particular wallet is a nice little drawstring bag, so obviously you can utilize that drawstring bag, put gear in it and whatnot. The wallet itself is a nice full grain leather, so it's super, super comfortable. Very nice feeling leather. Uh, it also has a four layer carbon fiber money clip here. And one of the cool things that I really like about this particular package is that the money clip separates from the wallet itself. And that opens up some pretty interesting possibilities because when we put that back in there, it hides the back side of the money clip. And so what that means is that you can take this money clip and tape um, you know, escape and evasion tools to the back of it. You could tape a, you know, an SD card back there with some critical information on it. You could tape a spare $20 bill back there. Um, there's a wide variety of things that you could really tape back there as long as it's slim enough to slide back behind that compartment right there. And I think it's interesting because like you, you just wouldn't anticipate that uh, sliding out of there. If, you know, if a criminal stole your wallet or something like that, they're not going to think to pull that out. And so you could even put a tracker back there if you wanted to. I think that's a pretty interesting feature. And obviously, also, you can take that out and, you know, run more minimalistic if you're at a hotel, going to the pool or something like that. You want to just drop in your ID, your key card, and a little bit of cash. Go ahead and run with that money clip. Um, not a big deal either way because the overall package is super, super thin, nice and comfortable. Um, you've got up to 20 bills folded in half in the money clip. You can put up to eight cards on the inner compartment, and then you can put two cards on the outer compartment. These are conservative numbers. I have personally gone bigger than that in all of these compartments. I like to keep my cash personally on the inside. It's just a phobia kind of fear that I have that I'm always that my cash is always going to fall out. But this money clip is very sturdy. You can put your cash in here and be safe with that. It's just my personal thing. I, I just like to keep my cash on the inside of a wallet versus the exterior of a wallet. Um, and two, and like, you know, if you're ever getting robbed and someone says, hey, give me all your cash, you just say, I'm here, man, take it, right? Just, just whip it out and take it. Just whip it out and take it. And then they don't know about that spare $20 bill that you had tucked back there for emergencies. Next up on the list is the Trayvax Armored Summit. And guys, I really, really wanted to like this wallet. And I do like it because it is super aesthetically pleasing, but it isn't right for me capacity-wise. Being a business owner, I've typically got multiple business cards and credit cards and IDs and whatnot that I've got to keep on me on a daily basis. And so it's just not right for me. But if you are a minimalist, this wallet might be perfect for you. It comes in a little clear package like this. Uh, with a card in it from Mark King and the Trayvax team with a QR code on it and you can scan that and it'll take you to like a video where you can see kind of how it's made or the story behind the product. It's got a little sticker up top that shows you who actually made the wallet. So I like that. It's got a nice little personal touch to it that goes a long way with me. Um, the wallet itself is constructed of metal and nylon, so when you get it, you have to stick your cards in and then dial in that nylon strap to get the retention just right. Otherwise, your cards will fall out. 
Um, so that is something that you've got to do. Unlike with the Core Essentials wallet, you just throw your stuff in there and it's good to go. You've got eight card capacity uh, and up to five bills in the money clip. It's not really a clip, it's kind of more a, a, just a wedge. And that wedge gets tighter, the tighter the retention is of the nylon strap. So the tighter you've got that, the more snug it's gonna secure those bills in the back. It's not super secure in my opinion. I don't, I, I wouldn't like this personally. I didn't enjoy this when I was using the wallet personally, but it's there. You can store money in it and it works. You've got a lanyard hole right there if you want to attach a lanyard to it. And it's also got an integrated bottle opener as well as these nice little cutouts. This is probably my favorite thing about it is that the, they've got these little cutouts on the front for your ID. So you've got your picture right there and then your date of birth over there. So if you ever get carded, you don't have to take it all the way out of your wallet like with most wallets. It is RFID blocking and super small, right? It's, it's really thin. It does have some weight to it though. Just something to consider. And last but not least, we've got the Ridge Wallet. Now this is one that a lot of you guys have probably seen or heard of before. It's an RFID blocking wallet just like the rest that we've looked at today. Comes in this nice little box. We've got the wallet and then we've also got a star bit screwdriver on the inside. Now this wallet is constructed of aluminum which makes it lighter weight than the Armored Summit, but it's still heavier than the Core Essential Slim. It holds up to 12 cards on the inside and you've also got the money clip on the outside. Alternatively, if you don't like the money clip, you can run with the cash strap variant that they got. We went with the money clip to stay comparable for this review. And overall, this is a very nice wallet. If you ever want to change out the, the money clip or the, the straps that are on here, there's a bunch of screws that go around, around the rim of this wallet and that's what the Starbit screwdriver is for. Now I have heard rumor of a lot of people saying that these screws tend to fall out on their own over time. And uh, that could be a pain in the ass because there's like 14 different screws on here. So that's just something to consider. I don't know if it was ever genuinely an issue or if they have fixed it. Hopefully it's not, but that's just something to consider. So let's talk about cost. Now, all the wallets that you see here today are high quality wallets, but let's say you're a minimalist and you're on a small budget, but you still want to get a high quality wallet. Which one do you choose? I would recommend the Travax Armored Summit because it comes in at 35 bucks, making it the cheapest option on the table here today, which is kind of surprising considering it's made in America. America. It's made out of metal and nylon and it's got that lifetime warranty. You just don't typically see those attributes in this price range. So for 35 bucks, grab yourself an Armored Summit. If you want to spend just a little bit more money and get a lot more bang for your buck functionality wise, I think the Core Essentials Slimline is where it's at. Coming in at 50 bucks. We've also got discount codes for you down in the description below. Our tribe members also get bigger discounts, so be sure to log in and check that out. But at 50 bucks, you can pick up the Slim Line. It's got that full grain leather, the carbon fiber money clip, so it makes it super lightweight, super thin, super comfortable to pocket. And with that smart pull tab to get your cards out, it doesn't really get much more efficient than that. I like the smooth operation of that versus the cumbersome mechanism of the Ridge and the Travax Armored Summit. It's a little bit difficult to get your cards out sometimes. Coming in at 75 bucks, you've got the Ridge, so it is the most expensive option on the table. They're all pretty good looking wallets, to be honest with you, um, but functionality wise, there's not a whole lot going on. You got the money clip, you got the cards inside, um, and the, the way that you get the cards out, you have to pop the your thumb right there in the little jump spot there and then you pinch and it kind of fans your cards out and you can pick from there what cards you want but when you go to get some from the middle you got to pull them out even more and then fan it out again that way you can get them out without pulling all your cards out in one go so i didn't really like that uh not too efficient with me the way it works with the travax one is you just kind of slide the cards up as you're going through them. Um, so unless the card that you need is the first card, it kind of gets a little bit more difficult to access those cards that are deeper in there with the Armored Summit. So overall, the Core Essentials Slim Wallet takes the prize. I think it's the best option on the table. No surprise, you guys know I'm a big Core Essentials fan. Check out the description down below to get links to purchase any of these wallets as well as any discount codes we can provide you. If you dig this video and you liked it, be sure to smash that like button for me, share it with a friend, and hey, if you wanna see more content just like this one, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the little bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. It's very important that you do that. That's all I got, guys. If you got any questions, drop them down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.